What's up guys? So today what I want to talk about is five habits that you can do as an over the road box truck driver that will make you more successful in this business. So the first habit that I would recommend any over the road box truck driver does is stay out on the road for at least a month at a time. And I can already hear, oh, I gotta stay out a month at a time, but oh, I have to do this and I have to do that. Well, the reality is if you have to take a load home all of a sudden and uh, you weren't expecting to take this load home early because it was so-and-so's birthday or there is an event you wanted to go to, uh, the fact of the matter is most times you're gonna have to take cheap freight if you wanna get back home. Now, how do I know this? Because I had that situation. In my first month, I, I would be out uh, for like a week and then I found out that there was a party I really wanted to go to and the only load going back was only paying $1.20 a mile. And then this becomes a bad habit because you haven't even made enough to pay your truck now and your insurance and then you wanna come back home already. So it's best if you just stick to your guns and uh, really make sure that you can stay out for a longer time. Make sure that this business is for you before getting into it. And another thing too, if you're willing to stay out for longer periods of time, you have more range with the freight you can take. So let's just say, even if you're in an area where the freight's moving bad, if you're willing to go anywhere, uh, you're still gonna be able to find good freight as long as you're willing to go anywhere across the US, as opposed to be limited by just one area that may have only bad freight going to that area. Now, the next thing that you can do and I preach this a lot on my channel because it's something that I do whenever I find loads. And yes, that's gonna be getting up early. I know nobody likes doing it, but get up early every day that you're not loaded. I'm talking like 6 a.m. Pacific time. You wanna be up checking that load board in the area you're at, finding freight, going anywhere. You may have to even get up a little bit earlier. Maybe get up at five, grab yourself a cup of coffee, Maybe do some jumping jacks, run a lap, get yourself up and awake so you don't end up going back to sleep. Because I can almost guarantee you, if you're going to get up in the afternoon and you're going to try to find loads, they're going to be gone already. All the early birds already got the worm. So make sure you get up early and get on that load board right away. So another good thing that you want to really practice is building great relationships with the brokers you work with. And I know not all brokers are great. I mean, finding a good broker is really a dime a dozen, but when you do find that good broker, save their phone number, save their email, make sure you have a way to instantly contact them. Now, when I'm working with brokers, regardless of whether they're a good broker or a bad broker, I always make it my point to offer top tier customer service because I know that that is what is going to get me continued business. So it's very important to be fully transparent with the broker, even if they're not being fully transparent with you, you always wanna let them know what your location is, what your estimated time of arrival is for pickups and drop-offs. And um, something I always do as well is at the end of the load, once I've delivered and I've sent them the bill of lading, I would like to just thank them. I'll send them an email, send them a text, give them a call and say, hey, I had a great time working with you. Thank you for the work. I really appreciate your business. Now, you'd be really surprised at what this does for you. Uh, building a strong relationship with these brokers is gonna get you continuous work. Especially, um, even if it's a broker, you may have not clicked with that first, but you took the time to say, hey, I appreciate you offering me that load. What you're gonna find out is that these guys are gonna start contacting you with better work. Now it's just common sense. Like let's just say you were a broker and you had a friend who was a truck driver, right? You're gonna wanna hit that guy up and give him the best work all the time. So if you're putting an effort to make a good relationship and you're making a great impression, these guys are gonna be emailing you, calling you and offering you good freight. As a matter of fact, right now for myself, I barely even book loads off the load board sometimes. I have so many brokers that email me and call me and really good friends of brokers who are always giving me good work to deliver around the country. 
Now this next one's gonna sound a bit like a no brainer, but it's super important and I don't know why some people can't follow it, but a really easy habit is staying well rested and making healthy choices on the road. So although this sounds pretty simple, it can be very challenging though, especially when you're a truck driver and you're on that road for 11 hours a day, you just finish your shift, you wanna check your phone and see what's going on sometimes. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but try to limit yourself, maybe set a, a, an alarm for yourself so you know when you have to get off and get to sleep. Or maybe even limit the amount of time that you spend browsing the web, browsing your smartphone or computer at the end of your day. It's also super important to make sure you stay self-disciplined with your health. So, I mean, I know how hard it can be when every truck stop just has bags of Doritos, fried chicken, all kinds of energy drinks just lined up all over the walls and it's so tempting. But if you take that time to go for those celery sticks, hard boiled eggs in the morning, coffee with no cream and no sugar, I guarantee you this is gonna benefit your success with this business. Because if you're eating healthy and you're getting at least eight to 10 hours of sleep every night, you're gonna have more energy when you get up first thing in the morning and you're trying to find loads or even when you're driving. Uh, let's just say if you find yourself constantly taking extra breaks, uh, what that's gonna do is make you late for loads and that's gonna cause you to have bad relationships with the brokers you're working with. Staying healthy, getting well rested will make sure that you're more alert on the road, you are more safe and that you are more likely to be on time with your pickups and drop-offs. Now, the fifth and final habit that I would recommend would be to stay organized with your paperwork and especially your bills. So a really simple way to start to stay organized is staying organized while you're on the road. And the way that you do this is in your DOT folder, you wanna carry a few extra uh, pages in there and um, you can order like uh, certain types of like uh, carrying pages where they have a little uh, slot that you can slide paper receipts into uh, that's one way you can stay really organized with all your gas receipts um, another way too is if you have the little side pockets on the folders you can put all of your bill of ladings in there and, and organize them by date to make sure they don't get mixed up then from your folder when you get home from your trips, you need to have a filing cabinet. So you can transfer all the paperwork from the month uh, from your folder back into your filing cabinet to keep it separated month after month, day by day, and keep it organized like that. And an even bigger part of that is making sure you pay all of your bills on time. What I do is I set reminders on my phone to let me know a few days in advance when a bill is about to be due. For example, my truck note is due on the first of every month. So I like to set a reminder a few days before that bill is due to make sure I've paid for it. Or alternatively, you can have everything on auto pay as well. But me personally, I like having a little bit more control, which is why I set reminders on that for myself. And then another great example is setting reminders for yourself to pay your tolls. So a lot of times we just drive to the tolls and then uh, sometimes you may drive through about maybe uh, a few tolls every week and it's easy to start forgetting which tolls you haven't paid. So I encourage you to take notes on your phone uh, the dates that you drove through these tolls, the area or the city or the name of the toll and make sure that you set a reminder to pay these as soon as you get home. Because let's just say if you forget about it for a month or two months to pass by, then it becomes a pretty serious bill and you start getting fees and violations on those tolls. So there you have it guys. Those are my five steps on what I would recommend that you can do as a new box truck driver to make sure you're successful out here. If you found this useful, please, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And once again, stay safe out there guys.